So the, the running joke was, Byron didn't want Roshan to do anything. Because this is what she does for a living, you know. But he took on the challenge. And brother, that was a, that was a beautiful brother. And he's not done. He's got her own story. Tell him that. But now I just want to commend him on what you did. Because what you did is an example of love and commitment. As a speaker, I go around the country and I talk about different topics and I love to talk about love. Now, did you guys know that love is both a noun and a verb? Did you know that? Yes, yes, yes. And for the married folks, you know that love is more that verb than that noun. You see, because the noun of love is just the act of being in love, the act of doing things. You know, you, 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 you meet the girl, you meet the guy for the first time, you just all fluttery and fluffy and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's just the state of being in love. That's the noun. But it's when you get into the relationship, when you get past the, the moments of just getting to know them, and when you get into the daily down and dirty things of love. Who knows about those days when you love your, your mate, but you can't stand it. Anybody? Am I wrong? Is it just me? All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Michigan. All right, let me you know. Those are the days when the work, the action of love comes into play. Because if you can commit to loving someone when you can't stand them, that means that might be the one for you. And so let's, let's talk about the word commitment. Commitment also is a man or a verb. You make the commitment to being with someone, but then you also have to commit to that someone each and every day. You have to commit to getting up and saying good morning to them. You have to commit to running errands for them. You have to commit to going to work so that you can support them. All those commitments is the action that goes along with that love. Because they say without love, there is no commitment. And without commitment, there is no love. So when I talk about, when I think about love, I think about breaking things down. I love to break things down to acronyms. So as I continue to talk the acronyms of love, I want to talk about the four different types of love. The first love is the L. It's that learning to love. When I first met my wife, I met her in one of the places that you guys visited, Cancun. I was living in Chicago, she was living in New Jersey. We met up in Cancun, and that's where our love began. So everything we learned about each other, we had to learn before the internet. We, we started dating when it was the dial of the AOL. <laughs> Hoping you would connect. So because she lived in Jersey, and because I lived in Chicago, we had to learn everything we learned about each other through AOL. And we committed to talking to each other on the phone or on AOL for 365 consecutive days before we get married. That's a commitment. Now think about your own relationships. What are the things that you're doing to learn about your mate? Learn about the person you're in a relationship on each and every day. If you commit to learning things about them, then you can share what this couple is sharing today. Memories, many, many stories of how they have committed to each other, one to another. In the video, you also saw them talk about obstacles they have to overcome. That's the O in love. Learning to still stay committed to each other when those obstacles come, because just like the storms come each and every day, each and every one of us, if you live long enough, is going to come across some type of obstacle that you're not going to be able to handle by 
yourself. Having that committed partner next to you to help you talk about the obstacles, to help you cry about the obstacles, and yes, to help you go through the obstacles. That's the sign of a strong relationship. That's the sign of commitment that I hope each and every one of you have in your life with your mate. Because I know some things I've gone through. I lost my good government job back in 2008. And I can remember on that drive home, not wondering what my wife was gonna say when I had to walk in the door and say, hey, you know, the job that paid for this house, the job that paid for our wedding, the job that paid for this American dream, I just lost the baby. I didn't want to face that moment, and I had no idea what she was going to say. I didn't know she was going to pack my bags. I didn't know she was going to send me on my way. But she was there because she loves me, and she was committed to our love. And she said, baby, it's, it's going to be all right. And that night, I transitioned from a good government job to a career as a speaker and an MC, and I've been doing that now for the past 15 years, not because of me, but because she was committed, and we were committed to make this thing work together, to overcome those obstacles. And then there's the V. I had to be vulnerable to my mate at that moment. And any relationship that lasts for a year, five years, 20 years, 35 years over here, there's going to be those days of vulnerability. Remember when you guys dated for the first time and you went, you went to the bathroom? You wouldn't go to the bathroom in any shot of that person that you were dating because you didn't want them to know. You didn't want them to hear. Oh, but you started dating for six months. And then you moved in together. Next thing you know, you go into the bathroom. You ain't even closing the door. You just right there. What'd you say, honey? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because you now have become vulnerable. You know her stuff don't smell like potpourri. You know your stuff don't. Yeah, there you go. It's those vulnerabilities that open you up to the special part of your relationship. I know more is about my spouse, my wife, because she allowed herself to be vulnerable to let me in. She knows more about me because I was vulnerable, and I allowed her to see things that I wouldn't let anyone else, including my mom and my daddy, ever see. It's that vulnerability that leads to that commitment, that leads to that overall love. And then the E in love is right there in the business that you have. It's a lifetime of everlasting opportunities, adventures, and excitement. When you got the right one, you do wake up every day excited about what's gonna happen with the day because the day is with the one you love. And that's an exciting feeling. If you do the other three things that we talked about, if you learn your spouse, if you are there for your spouse and committed even through the obstacles, and if you are committed even through the vulnerabilities, then you will be able to be there to embrace and enjoy all the adventures that you have coming in front of you. But it begins first with that love, and it ends with that commitment. So we're so proud that you two are an example that we can look at close and from afar what love and commitment are. Give them a round of applause.